Hello there, Mateusz here and I welcome you to my new painting video in which I will show you how I painted the demon sword for the Castellan Crow model from Grey Knights Codex. I will use my new airbrush Ultra from Harder and Steinbeck for base tones and then I will continue with the brush. I started the work with simple zenithal highlight coming from below. Also, I used white ink to fill the runes carved in the blade. You don't have to be too much careful here. The point is to give the runes a bright white undercoat. It will help them shine later. After that I covered the flames with thin layers of magenta paint from Vallejo model color range, focusing more on the area near the blade. I have to be honest here, at this stage it was the first moment when I noticed the demon faces there. Next, I put the purple color Hexed Legion from above, only at the tips of the flame. It will enhance the contrast in the end. You can add a little bit of the black paint to the purple color to obtain even better contrast, as I did. After that, I will use the white ink. I want to paint it in the recesses, especially near the blade edge from where the flames or souls or whatever it is come and the runes. It will help me later when I will be using oranges and yellows, as these colors are semi-transparent and they don't cover very well. As I said, I will use the orange fluo paint from Vallejo model color range to cover the areas where we previously applied the white paint. I want also to paint at least the half of the runes, keeping the magenta color below. Slowly I am getting the effect which I wanted to achieve, but to maximize the effect I will introduce the pure yellow color with some white paint in the mix. It will create our final contrast and the glow effect. As mentioned earlier, I am focusing at the upper edge of the sword as the source of the magic. To make the effect more interesting, I highlighted the upper flames from below as a reflection of the light source. Ok, the magical flame effect is ready. I am satisfied how it looks like. Very vibrant and interesting. It will be a great reason to make the source lighting effect on the mini later. The last part is to finish the blade itself. 
I want to keep it dark, so I mix the previously used purple color with black paint and I will paint the lower side of the blade, focusing on the areas between the runes, as it will create our maximal contrast and the final glowing effect here. As I don't want to have the lower part of the blade too boring, I'm doing an edge highlighting with the magenta fluo paint which I used at the beginning of this movie. And here you can see the final effect. I'm really happy how it turned out, especially when I see it in front of me. In the next episode of the crow painting, we will focus on the source lighting effect. And this is it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment if you want to know something more and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Bye.